this this video is for creators and manufacturers alike so we want to talk about v mounts and the new power usb type c pd power banks coming up Welcome guys to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time. If you're new to this channel, here we do music, movies, tech reviews, stuff like that. Basically, if you love to watch movies or you love to learn how to make movies, then this is the channel for you. Comprehend it? All right, let's get into it now. I have made two videos already. Um, one that was long, about 13 minutes, that will give you actually the full insight about the new power solution, okay? And if you think you're gonna be interested, then go back and watch the um, first video because in it, there are some stuff that uh, you need to be careful of about the choosing the connections, the wires and stuff like that. All right, that being said, we could power cinema cameras, we could power um, um, Sony FS5 if they decide to have the right, uh, you know, um, plug-in for it. Um, they can power up a RED, they could power up any camera out there We're using this power bank. I mean, this one, this is the only one I can pick right now. Uh, there are many that are more powerful than this, but really cannot give 12 volts so they are useless to us okay filmmakers that is so we are not looking for power for our phones we already have phones that are that have good batteries now um i don't think um, really powering um phones is a big deal these days it's not uh power bank companies you want to solve real solutions then yeah get us power that could power really professional lights monitors that could power almost anything the DC current can power and um, that would be something so that we can take it on location and have it powered for the duration. Trust me, I wish I was making one of these. There's a lot of money to be made from the manufacturers, so I'm just saying, check it out. This is uh, a general VMAT ba battery, the one we use now, or well, the one I use. This one I bought for less than 200 bucks. Okay, and um, there you go. Take a look at the size. Now, take a look at this. Now, this one powers this black magic for four hours. Over four hours, actually. I got four hours, 20 minutes, if you watch the last video. But when I found out how this useful and light this thing can be, I decided to try to make a campaign so uh, they can work on this and actually have better mounting solutions than, than just this one right here. Um, right right now this is a phone mount it works okay but we could start having actual mounts for for tripods for it to be mounted on um, rigs cold shoes and all that okay that's the way forward then increase the power of the banks increase the number of output at least two okay now i have to have this for the black magic i need another one mounted somewhere for the monitor um you will need something like this to actually charge these batteries i talked about it in my last videos and i showed you two solutions this i just got this one now because it has two inputs two usb c types so which means but this is for direct okay which means i can now power my black magic and my, my monitors something like this i cannot have them you know I cannot have them powered like this and my monitor and uh, my camera will work at the same time in the office with DC power, okay? Direct current, okay? This is what we need for the power banks. Um, for me, I think if, the, if these companies are ready, um, USB-C power banks is the way to go, is the future. This one could probably take um, my entire rig let's say camera and uh, camera and monitors for about eight hours very powerful very powerful but i do believe that these guys can do it it's just 
who needs that power? That's why I think that's what I think is the problem. Um, and some of us filmmakers, we are that smart. Uh, we should be the ones actually making stuff like this. I believe there are creators who's got the know-how to make this stuff. You could get on Kickstarter and let it and let it let it come out, bro. You know, this generation is all about bringing it low, because the reality is, it's hard to make the kind of money we used to make. Everything is going public, kind of. You know, it's like expecting the same kind of money from music like you did way back in the days, all right? If you don't introduce what's sticking over, what's naturally coming to place and let it grow, it will grow slow, you know? So the earlier we encourage it, the faster we can get there where actually this is the king of power and taking over and we are happier for our body health weight and all that but there's an argument that their sizes like this but they are expensive and they are more mainly uh lower power these ones the bigger ones they have more power and the lower the smaller ones are more expensive yeah more expensive for lower power now i'm using this as an example you know why right because I, I wasn't ready to buy one of those and get less power. I'll buy this size because it's light and then I won't get this output. No, I should be able to pay more for this size and then get this output. That's what, I, that's what we want, actually. That's what every filmmaker wants. I'm not trying to say one can kill the other. No, I'm trying to say we want it down. The price is down and the size down. And then you got a market. Um, here's a light. This is it's actually a light. Uh, let me show you. It is also a power bank. I could charge stuff from it. So while it's charging, while it's on, I could also power my phone. Now these are, and, I'm, and it will power the phone real good. Is from New Mosa. Okay, New Moa. New Moa. Okay. Oh, power Moa. It also has mountain points. Okay. Yeah, which is basically what we need. Basically, what we need. I still believe that power banks can, we can have 12 volt power banks from here. I don't know how it works, but down the line at least. But for now, if we can increase the output of something about this size, perfect, you know, perfect. And then have mounting solutions, how to mount it in a rig. That's what we need to start looking on, you know, if power banks are gonna take over, all right? If I have to choose right now, which way to go, I'm going with these guys. I'm going with the power bank. I don't mind having one that can take the system for two hours. I don't mind. The system, in, in other words, like the camera and the monitor. If I can get this one to take the camera and the monitor for two hours and still stay at um, the $45 point, it's a deal of, well, maybe 50. It's a deal, um, i will rather buy three of them or maybe six of them if I have to and have them, you know, um, swap them as they die off every two hours, then to have the VMAT batteries that, this one that lasts for um, pretty much the day with all that weight, right? And the truth is that we take two of them on, on location, you know? So that's some weight we have to carry because you take about two for the day. It's always better to, so, but for this one, if we have two, I mean, I mean, for a start, well, I'm just saying for a start, we need to boost up the power eventually. But if, if this already takes my camera four hours, then that same port can power my camera and my monitors for at least two hours. I can guarantee that I can, I can say that right now. You know, if this, this same port is introduced with two mounts or if there's a split power uh, socket for USB-C, PD, USB-C with this power, then we can power those two for two hours. Then I, that, that, that would be great. We could, we could buy um, a, a lot of these and swap them out over time. Please let us know in the comments below. If you do find one, 
that has two inputs this portable let's know in the description if you subscribe to this whole idea let me know in the comments below thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe for more videos like this comment share and i guess i'll see you in the next video bye